Okay, in this question, we are given that uh, a 12-sided die can be made from a geometric solid called a dodecahedron, and then we assume that a fair dodecahedron is rolled. So it means it has 12 sides. You know that our regular die, the, the one we know, is the one that has uh, six sides with numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, but uh, in this case, uh, the one that we have has 12 sides, so you need to draw a 3D uh, figure with 12 sides, and then you roll it. Okay, and so uh, on each side it has a number, from 1 to 12. And you're asked to find the probabilities in each question. First one, the probability that the outcome, when you roll it, is an odd number. Uh, just uh, remember what are the odd numbers. Uh, they are uh, the single numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. The ones that are not multiple of 2. That's the easiest definition. Things that you cannot um, divide by 2 and get a whole number. So the second one is uh, find the probability that the outcome is less than 8. Now, what's important for, for you is to know, when we say less than 8, uh, we mean anything less strictly than 8. So, 8 is not included, meaning uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Those are the numbers that are less than 8. And uh, uh, so, let us erase this. And the last one is uh, find the probability that the outcome is at least 9. When they say at least 9, it includes 9 itself. So it means it could be 9, or 10, or 11, or 12. Okay, and so let's solve this question on the second uh, page. Uh, I'm going to just solve all of them on one page. Find the probability that an outcome is, uh, the outcome is an odd number. We saw that we have, uh, uh, so the probability that we have an odd uh, number is equal to the number of odd numbers, the number of odd numbers that we have over the total uh, numbers that we can get total number of outcomes, let's say, of outcomes. And in this case, uh, we calculated, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 odd numbers. So we can say this is 6 out of 12 possible outcomes. So 6 out of 12, this is uh, 0 0.5, which is 50%. Uh, uh, or you can leave it like this. On your calculator, you can get uh, these values here. Uh, one of them. Each uh, one is okay. Uh, also, you know, you can write it as half. So all of these are the same number. It doesn't matter what you write it. it what's important is that you get uh, the right number. Now, for the second one, we want to find the probability that the outcome is less than 8. Less than 8... Uh, and let's erase the first part. So less than 8 means any number here that is strictly less than 8. So 8 is not included. So we have uh, this probability that uh, the outcome, outcome is less than 8 is... Uh, how many numbers are less than 8? In this case, 7 numbers. Out of the total number of outcomes is 12. And if you compute this on your calculator, I mean, this is an enough answer, but if you want it as a decimal, it's approximately 0 0.583, which is 58.3%. And for the last one, find the probability that the outcome is at least 9. So this means that we want the probability that our outcome this is the event, this outcome is at least 9. This is the same as, uh, uh, okay, so first we erase the, the part that we have here. 
and at least 9 means that it could be 9 or 10 or 11 or 12. So it could be any of these uh, four values. So this is 4. Uh, let's do it in blue. This will be four numbers possible out of the 12 possible outcomes for the dodecahedron. And this will give you uh, 1 over 3, which is 0 0.333. Or you can write it as 33.3. This is approximate, of course. Here, approximately, it's this. So the answer is 4 over 12. Uh, this was a very simple question, as you can see.